Hey there, Damian Mason coming at you with some thoughts for you as it pertains to the world's most important industry, the business of agriculture. A few weeks ago, I read this article about China. China is ramping up robotics as the plant workforce shrinks. What's this mean? Well, China last year added as many robots in their manufacturing facilities as the rest of the world combined. Okay, of all the robotic uh, installations in the manufacturing facilities worldwide, half of them happen in China. Why is that happening? Because China is becoming old very quickly. The one-child policy that they've had since 1980 meant that there was a lot less babies being born. The population gets older very, very quickly. The number of people that are available to work in the manufacturing sector, which has ascended at China over the last two decades to the roaring economy that it is, are getting older. They need workers. Kind of the same thing you've been hearing here in the United States, right? Who's going to fill the jobs? Who's going to be in these places, in these positions? This is a global phenomenon. A labor shortage is going to continue to be uh, with us, and it's also going to spur along automation and innovation. That's good. Innovation has always happened, and we've generally automated. We don't work as hard at, let's say, uh, throwing around small bales of hay because of better forage and hay handling equipment. We don't work as hard doing farm work to get the bushels and the output as we used to because of automation. These are good things, right? Factory that I worked at, doesn't exist anymore. Much of it could have been automated. 35 years ago, we did things the hard way. This is going on for a long time, and it's a good thing for productivity. There's a couple of things, however. As we continue to automate, I predict meat processing, for instance, will be rapidly automating. The uh, the pandemic showed that we have a problem when these plants shut down. So we'll automate particularly things like poultry and pork, which are a very standard, consistent sized product versus beef, which can have a lot of variation, which will get automated less quickly. We're going to automate harvests. Um, we've talked in the Business of Agriculture podcast about a strawberry harvester versus using human hands. We're going to automate things like spraying uh, through drone technology or autonomous equipment. This is all coming. And that's a good thing because usually it boosts productivity, certainly boosts productivity per hour of human capital invested. However, we have always worked at feeding the people, the citizens of planet Earth. Robots don't eat. Drones don't consume calories. Automatic harvest machines are very effective, but they also don't have babies that require milk and cereal and baby formula and all the sorts of baby food. You understand where I'm going with this? While we are going to continue to automate and it will boost our productivity on all sectors, but particularly in agriculture, because we still use a lot of human hands, we are then going to be shall I say, the victim of our own forward progress. Because as less human hands are required and there's less human hands available, we also realize that we are very, very productive and good at making food, but eventually we may not have as many consumers to eat that food. These are things you've never considered nor you've ever been told because you've been told again and again and again that we're gonna overpopulate. Doesn't look like it's happening. And remember, robots and drones don't reproduce and they don't require consumption of food calories. Damian Mason, if you want to check out more of my stuff, go to DamianMason.com. I've got 265 episodes of the Business of Agriculture podcast. I'm also sharing cool stuff that I'm doing with Extreme Ag. I'm doing their podcast and video for Extreme Ag, some of the country's most forward-thinking, business-minded farmers and the practices they're doing. So check out all my stuff. Thanks for being here. And again, think about what this might mean. Automation, robots, drones, what it might mean for our productivity, but also what it might mean for our consumer base. Till next time.